Good morning, DJ Talk family. How y'all doing today? First of all, welcome to the 70th episode of DJ Talk. Now, before we get started, I would like to take this time to send a shout out to everyone that is doing good and hope y'all are having a great week. And another thing. 2023 is coming to an end, and 2024 is coming up, and we're all looking forward to the new year and find out what's in store for us. So, just like you, I am so looking forward to the new year and to see what's going to happen. So, all we could do is stay tuned for more. Not only stay tuned, but but also see what's going to happen. So let's see what happens. If you are new to this channel, allow me to welcome you to D-Nation family. And hopefully you'll enjoy it here. But more importantly, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the bell for notifications and many more to come. So stay tuned for more. And not only that, but stay tuned for more contents in 2024. So without any further ado, let's get right to it. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about a new topic. We're going to talk about how to forgive yourself. So what does it mean To forgive yourself. And you know something? That is a great question. Obviously, a great question. It means you accept actions and behavior that occurred while willing to move forward. Forgiving yourself may mean letting go of the feelings and emotions associated with what went wrong. You know, that is a good meaning of it. There are multiple quotes that talks about how to forgive yourself or self-forgiveness, whatever you want to call it. And it goes something like this. Number one, Martin Luther King Jr. says, we must develop and maintain the capacity to forgive. He who is devoid of the power to forgive is devoid of the power to love. Number two, Edwin Hubble Chapin says, Never does the human soul appear so strong as when it forgoes revenge. Number three, Maya Angelou says, It's one of the greatest gifts you can give yourself to forgive and forgive everybody. Number four, Maria Edgeworth says, Surely it is much more generous to forgive and remember than to forgive and forget. Number five, C.R. Strainhand says, Forgiveness has nothing to do with absoluting a criminal of his crime. It has everything to do with relieving oneself of the burden of being a victim, letting go of the pain and transforming oneself from victim to survivor. Number six, Nelson Mandela says, when a deep injury is done to us, we may we never heal until we forgive. Number seven, Desmond Tutu says, because forgiveness is like this. A room can be dank because you have closed the windows. You've closed the curtains, but the sun is shining outside and the air is fresh outside. In order to get that fresh air, you have to get up and open the window and draw the curtains apart. Number eight, Mr. Bill Cosby says, 
people can be more forgiving than you can imagine. But you have to forgive yourself. Let go of what's bitter and move on. Well said by Mr. Bill Cosby. Number nine, Les Brown says, Forgive yourself first. Release the need to replay a negative situation over and over and over and over again in your mind. Don't become a hostage of your past or to your past by always reviewing and relieving your mistakes. Don't remind yourself of what you should have, have should have, could have more, could have or would have been. Release it and let it go. Move on. Or in other words, move forward with your life. Number 10, Miguel Angel Ruiz says, Forgive yourself. The supreme act of forgiveness is when you can forgive yourself for all the wounds you've created in your own life. Forgiveness is an act of self-love. When you forgive yourself, self-acceptance begins and... Self-love grows. There are, and also, if I forget to mention, there are a, there are a few steps that talks about how to forgive yourself. And these steps right here, hopefully, will help you in the future. On how to forgive yourself. And also have a better future as well. So step number one, pray for yourself. When you pray for yourself, you are setting yourself up to letting go of the bad past that you've encountered and moving towards a better future. Number two, loving, love yourself. Once the weight of your shoulder is off, you feel more relaxed than never before. And you will learn to love yourself and learn to cherish everything that matters to you. Number three. Forgive your inner child. We all have an inner child that has gone through bad situ times in every situation. And when we are all grown up and sometimes in life, we need to forgive our inner child and move on with our lives. Number four, never hold, never hold grudges towards anyone. In life, we tend to get even with anyone that has done us harm and ruined something that has been special and wonderful in our lives. But what we have learned around this time in our lives is that Life is too short to be holding on to grudges. So my suggestion is to everybody, don't hold on to grudges because if you do, it will just ruin everything that you have been working on. So just keep that in mind. Number five, appreciate the good and the bad. Every day in life, we have to wake up and appreciate everything whether it's good or bad, we have to take a step back and realize how grateful we are and how blessed we are to be here in a situation, in a good situation that we're in. And, how, and not only that, but how blessed we are to be alive, breathing, smiling every day, whether we are going to even whether we are going through a tough moment in our lives. So my suggestion is let's take a moment to appreciate everything that 
we have. And let's not be selfish about it. Always stay humble. That's all I can say right here. Stay humble. To everybody, let's learn, let's learn to stay humble. Number six, cut the stress out. I like this one. <laughs> cut the stress out of your life. When we have stress, it is not good for our health and not good for our minds. So we need to realize that we shouldn't be stressed out about situations that have been placed in our lives. You know what we can do at this time? We just have to stay calm, cool, and collected. Just forget about it and just continue to acknowledge, like they would say, acknowledge the elephant in the room. So that's what we need to do. Stay calm, cool, and collected in stress moments or stressful moments. You see, none of us are perfect. We make, we make mistakes. And even though we make mistakes, it doesn't mean that we can learn from it. It doesn't mean that we can get better every day. So anything that we have witnessed in our lives, whether we've been through a tough moment, tough situation, and a bad past, what we need to do is we just need to apologize to ourselves and forgive ourselves for not doing the best that we should have done instead of us feeling sorry for ourselves and all that. So let so keep that in mind as always and learn from me. Before I wrap up this episode, I want to tell you something and hopefully it will help you out along the way. Forgive yourself and move on from your life. Life is too short to hold on to the pain and agony. So I'll say it again to the people in the back that didn't hear it the first time. Forgive yourself. So that's all I could say right there. Anyhow, thank you for tuning in and thank you for this year, 2023. Even though I haven't been on it that much like I've wanted to be through tough situations and difficult times that I have endured. But at the end, you guys stood with me and never gave up on me. And for that, I thank you, each and every one of you of DJ Talk family. And most importantly, I thank you because for 2024, everything's going to be going the way it should be going. So we're all looking forward to 2024. 2024 will be the best year for DJ Talk Podcast. There'll be new episodes coming up and something new may happen along the way that we don't know nothing about it. And more importantly, there's going to be a lot of surprises coming up. And you know what? We're looking forward to it. Like I said, it's going to be a lots and lots and lots of surprises coming up. So all I can say is stay tuned for more episodes of DJ Talk coming up in 2024. So all I can say is happy new year, everybody. And let's let's start the new year with positivity. All I can say is let's start it off with a fresh start, new slate, and all, more importantly, let's move forward. Let's have a great year and let's have a successful year and let's win. Peace out and have a great day. 
and enjoy with your loved ones. Huh. Come on, let's go.